All right, so who's ready to talk about the who's and the boos? <laughs> I, I know I am. If you are a trumpet player looking to improve your attacks, you actually want to work on them without the tongue. Why? Because you will get a little more direct airstream. You might get a more relaxed aperture, which will be more responsive. So let's get into this. This is a blog post I wrote and I want you to read through it if you want to, <laughs> only if you want to. And let's talk about how to do who. So who and poo are basically just blowing with air and I'm creating that who shape as I'm blowing. Blowing with the poo shape is basically the same thing, but the lips are sealed in the front. So when I'm warming up, I like to use who because that's sort of the most unblocked. There's nothing getting in the way. And it sounds something like this. So. You can hear like a little bit of air at the front. That's okay, because that's what a who is. There's no T to start it. There's no P to start it. There's no consonant to start it. We're just going straight to vowel. Sometimes I'll blow in my hand. Feel that immediate sort of response of the air on the back of my hand. Mash that on the mouthpiece. And then after one or two of those, I will go to p poo, and you get that little bit more of a clearer or defined front edge to the beginning of the sound, which is sort of like where we're kind of getting to is eventually a little bit more definition on the front of the note. So here's poo. So the lips are starting to wake up and I'm getting that kind of like creation of the aperture. So instead of just following all the way through with the air, I'm allowing the aperture to be closed at the starting point and then it, the air opens it up. And I think that's an important thing is we're not, we're not trying to generate a sound with p poo. We're just sealing the aperture and it's from that letter P that you get the starting point. So. transition into ta 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 I actually don't really do a whole lot of that in my practicing, but I wanted to show you the, how it changes over time. So for me, warming up on the mouthpiece, it starts with who, and then it goes to poo, and then I actually kind of just stay in that zone for a while. Later, as I get going, I like to do a lot of back and forth with the trumpet, um, and I'm still doing who's and poo's. I will show you a little bit of that now. All right, so if I'm doing who on trumpet, same idea. Normally I would blow in my hand, but I'm holding the camera and a trumpet, so. And again, you heard the air sound at the beginning, which is totally normal since we're not using a consonant, just straight up air. And I think I saw Phil Smith talk about this in a video with somebody, uh, I'll try to find it and link it. L kind of letting the sound wake up. In other words, you can blow until you get to the sound. You don't have to start with like, don't force a sound. But it's almost like the vibration begins as you put the who into there and then do a couple of those. Shift over to who and you'll get the more defined start. And you get a nice sort of clean, easy feeling with that release of the air. It's it's a lot less effort actually than trying to start the day with that or a later in your practice, definitely do that. But at the beginning, you want to start with air, you want to start with easy, you want to start with efficiency, and that's what who and poo are good for. All right, so to round out this conversation, start your days with who's and poos, they're very helpful. Um, let me know how it works for you, if you prefer a different syllable. Um, in my blog post, I talk about dropping the vowel shape to a O, or raising the vowel shape up to an E if you're going into different registers and you want to use the same technique. It totally works there as well. You don't always have to play a middle G. But anyhow, thanks for watching and check out the blog post. I will link that in the description. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Please like the video. That helps me a lot. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. All right, here's a little bonus content. So I'm doing stamp right now for my warm up, and I wanted to play and show you a little bit about the who and the poo. So I'll turn the tuner on 
I'm on the key of concert A major. That was an H, a who. Another H, the air is already feeling good and relaxed. And now I'm gonna poo. Step, do this on mouthpiece. Mm, I want a who on the first note. Mm. That's good. I want it to be a little more immediate. Mm. Good. And now I'm going to add the palm poom. Right, and so I just do this throughout the whole sequence. I'm gonna play it on trumpet, but that's the idea. Okay, bye.